So I checked my mail a couple days ago, and in it, in the mailbox, was uh, this package from Wowee. They make all the cool robots. Uh, I have a couple of the Robo Sapiens. I have three, actually, three Robo Sapiens I'm playing around with. And I uh, saw this guy, and he looks pretty cool. So one of the things that I liked about him, um, and I haven't, I obviously haven't pulled him out of the packaging yet, but one of the things that I'm kind of excited to see is these wheels. I've seen this on um, uh, one of those inventor shows on TV. They had a forklift that has these wheels, and they're, uh, they move in all different directions. So you have your, your main wheel that moves like a normal wheel would, and then around the outside you have additional little wheels that are allowed for a lot more flexible movement. See if I can scare the cat a little. I can't see where we're going. Whoa! Very dizzy now. Hey! I get the roll free. Roll free. That was fun, but I'm tougher now. Let's go. Careful. Take a roll. Okay, one of the other features that this robot has that my Robo Sapien doesn't and uh, not a lot of other robots I've seen have, and um, you'll actually probably recognize this if you have a Wii. Uh, the Wii remote, you move it around to make things happen. Shut up, Tribot. Um, so at the bottom here, you have this little trigger switch. When you press that, whatever direction you're, you're leaning this remote, uh, the Tribot is going to try and move in that direction. So you can tilt it right. Tilt it left, tilt it forward, or tilt it back to make it move. I'm we'll moving back a little bit. This makes me nervous. And we can just test him out. So right now I'm holding it pretty level. And I'm holding the trigger down, you can see the light going. If I go back, he moves back. Or tilt is my command. So I'm moving forward. Takes a little getting used to. Alright, so it takes some getting used to, but uh, with a little practice, I'm sure you can figure out how to get this guy moving in the right direction. Okay, something else I thought was kind of cool here is that on this remote, you have a program button. I think. think where I am. I think. And then over here, you have a play button. Um, what you do is you hold down the program button, you do whatever movements you want to get your uh, your robot to move around and then you hit the play button and it plays it back. I'm going to program him and I'm just going to spin around and move a couple times and then we'll we'll see if he can uh, repeat it. So I hit program. Let's record a program for me to perform. All right. And then I'm going to uh, just spin him all the way around once. I'll move him around. And I'll just spin him again. 
And when I'm done, I just hit the play button and he should repeat that. I love it when you give me cool moves to make. Now if you want your tribot to wander around and do his own thing and uh, just bump into stuff, you hit the little brain button, it's right in the middle of the remote, kind of hard to see in the video here, um, but when you hit that, he'll just kind of wander around and um, ho hopefully not bump into anything. The last button on the remote here is the alarm button. And what that does is it allows you to set an alarm on your tribot and after a certain number of minutes from 1 to 12, depending on how, what, how you set it, uh, the tribot will sound an alarm for you. So we're going to try it real quick with, uh, with one minute. You hit the button. Okay, so I only want to sleep one minute. So that's the alarm mode. Um, you can imagine if I had it on loud, I had it on quiet there. If on loud, that would really do a good job of waking you up. Unfortunately, you're only going to get to sleep a maximum of 12 minutes at a time with that. So maybe it's good if you just want a five minute nap or something. <laughs> 